Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez, and it's good. We got the ladies in the building, and we have the cobbler queen herself. Yes. To feed us. Ooh. Yes. So we have some Crown Royal Peach Cobbler. We have Pecan Praline. We have Honey Bun Peach Cobbler. And my favorite, Cookie Butter. Ooh, Ooh. I cannot wait to dig in. And I know you can't wait to dig in. Ladies. Nice. All right, but we got to <laughs> dig into some topics because we're going to talk about people charging for dinner parties they invite you to without you expecting it. Like, what? what? Really? Who does that? Absolutely like, not. Mm -mm. And a woman saying that she's too hot and men are intimidated by her. I mean, it mm -hmm. happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, we gotta talk about girl dinner, cause listen, mm -hmm. this might be this might my be girl dinner. Okay. Okay. Yes. Are y'all ready? Yes. Let's, Let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. Mm. I'm telling you, this peach cobbler baby is unlike any other you've had. And I know the girls on the couch are ready to start talking because otherwise they're going to finish this peach All cobbler, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here for the very first time, we've got Sydney Mack in the building. Woo! Ready to join in on this girl chat. <laughs> and of course, my host, when I ain't here, we got Cindy Burbano, <laughs> morning show radio personality and TV Aww. host. And the girl behind the Adultish Wine podcast, we got Woo! Paige Crutcher. All right, I want to dive into the being too hot for potential mm. partners. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, Cindy. You come are. On. You are. Yes. But you I can't can talk because you have a partner. Well, see, when I was single, mm -hmm. no one was approaching me. I don't know if it was the resting bitch face or just like I'm just too intimidating. I it just happened. had Phil on my podcast episode that's coming out this week, and he told me that I'm too intimidating. And he said it's a it's a blessing and a curse to be beautiful, which I yeah. took for a compliment. Thank you. Yes. But I don't believe I don't I don't see myself that way. Well, you're successful. You you're tall. You're beautiful. That's gonna intimidate anybody. You got thighs. Yep. I do got some legs thighs. for days. <laughs> legs for days. But I want somebody who's gonna not be intimidated by that. I was about to say, if you have an RBF like and they can't handle that, then they don't need you at all. I know. <laughs> RBF. Yeah. Maybe I do. Have you ever had a partner tell you like, you know, I wasn't gonna talk to you because you were intimidating. You're so beautiful. No, because I would never let it get that far if they can't handle <laughs> just my arresting like, face, then funny. they can't handle anything else. <laughs> yeah, so th the reason we're talking about this is uh, New York Post had this article of a woman who's very voluptuous. She's got the huge titties. She's got the big ass. I mean, she is an hourglass. I think for her, like, yeah, it must be very intimidating, but I feel like everyday women, like us, but fabulous, obviously, um, there might be people who just won't ever talk to us because they think we're too much. I think the what I usually get from men and women is, um, oh, I thought you were so different. Like once they start talking to me, mm. oh, I didn't know you were gonna be like super nice, or you were gonna, I thought you were gonna be rude, or I, or maybe like stuck up, or whatever it is. Maybe just from my profession, or maybe the way I look. I don't know what gives that impression. But then once they get to know me, they're like, you're so different. I thought of you so different. Yeah. Like, People are judging books by too many covers. Yep. It's got to stop. Yeah. I think it's more of their internal battle as well. Like, I don't think it has anything to do with the mm -hmm. person that they're looking at. I think it's all within themselves. They need to figure, <laughs> figure it out. Yeah, they're like, should I, should I, should yeah. I, should I. <laughs> I mean, have you guys ever experienced that where you were intimidated to talk to someone, whether it's a romantic partner or, ooh, ooh, okay, Paige, what are you like? Yeah, <laughs> you know what? I'm putting myself in the opposite position. Yeah, I do see a lot of really, really, really good looking guys, and I'm like, ah. Uh, I shouldn't. And is this in real life? Is this on? Yeah, the, okay. no, real life. <laughs> is this <laughs> in your dreams? <laughs> <laughs> Not on the apps, you know. Like I see, and I'm like, yeah, they're probably like a player. But they're... see, they're judging. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 You're <laughs> uh -huh. Cindy, what about you? Um, I, I don't, I would never approach a, a guy. Just, I'm Period. just so right. old school like that. The guy I feel needs to court me. They need to give me the attention. And no, I'm not intimidated by anybody. I, I think I've been around enough very successful uh, or even just in the entertainment business, athletes, et cetera, that I'm, it's part of our business. So for me, it's just like anybody I can talk to pretty much. But I wouldn't approach a man. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That ain't you. No. Uh. He needs to show the interest first and then I'll choose if I want to talk to you. Mm. <laughs> Sydney, have you ever 
been intimidated by approaching someone? I'm the same way. I would never go approach someone. Um, I'm an introvert, so I, I don't really, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like, we I have to be friends ask. first and then go there. So I would, I would never probably approach someone. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know, Paige, you're still in the dating world. Yes, ma'am. You're hearing <laughs> that they would never approach anyone. Are you on that path? I don't like, want to. That's not ideal. That's you don't not want what, to. No, I want someone to approach me. Yeah. I'm an independent, intimidating, boss-ass <laughs> woman, yes, woman yes. air quotes, uh -huh. <laughs> that I want somebody who sees me and is like, I want that. Yeah. Mm, come get me. Yeah. So and you then try three more anyone. times. <laughs> I'm, I'm not actively, but... I mean, people are telling me to do all sorts of different things. People are trying to help me. I'm struggling out here on the streets, on the <laughs> sidewalk. Is it, is it, <laughs> on the sidewalk? <laughs> is I got one kind of on the sidewalk. Street. What's happening it's these tough. days? It's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just terrible. Have some cobbler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> All right, listen, I've already gained a few pounds. And listen, it was a few more. All right, coming up next, we're going to talk about uh, friendships or what we think are friendships and uh, how dinner parties can go wrong. You stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We're having a girls' night with my ladies. We've got Sydney, Cindy, and Paige. <laughs> <laughs> and we got an audience, honey. Okay, so there's this story. I saw it on Reddit. This guy went to a mutual friend's house for a dinner party. They were like, don't even bring anything. Like, don't even stress about it. They have dinner ready. And he brought chocolates because he was like, you know, I yeah. can't show up empty-handed. Like, let me show, show up with some chocolates. The next day, he received a bill for the dinner party. No. That's ridiculous. No, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's actually happened to me before. <laughs> what? Now that you think about okay, it. Okay, what do you mean? So it was like a crawfish boil, and then later I got a text like, okay, if you want to contribute to the crawfish boil, like you can send a memo. It wasn't mandatory, but yeah, that but has it was happened afterwards. to me before. But no. you kind of afterwards, yeah. I, I don't agree. Like, if you're going to yeah. do that, do it prior. Like, hey, we're going to have a birthday, and we're going to go to this uh, restaurant. It's, you know, 50 bucks a head if you want to, you know, RSVP, whatever. Yes. I get that. But if you invite me to somebody's house, or I go, you know, and I'm eating, you're invite, you're hosting. Mm -hmm. It isn't a, what do you call that where people a bring pot, pot, or potluck. 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 Yeah. 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 I'm okay with crazy. paying, but just tell me beforehand. Exactly. Don't I'm, tell me after I already ate everything that I yeah. wanted to eat. <laughs> and then you feel guilty. Like, I assume you paid something. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's like, okay, well, how do I not? They've already seen that I read it. Like, now I, I've got to I just you. never, yeah. I'll never go back. Like, I'll pay Facts. for it. Okay, that's cool. Here you go. Well, we're not friends. I just think <laughs> it's very tacky. Mm. It is. Classic. Yeah. If you're going to host something, yeah. host it. Yeah. Um, or again, say it's a potluck. I'm doing the crawfish. Someone bring the sausage. Someone bring right. the corn. Someone bring the potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Like my family always says, you know, that I got no quevana tomar, so bring whatever you're going to drink. But yeah. the yeah, food is absolutely. provided, and that's sure. it. And the person brought a hosting gift. You got to bring a hosting gift. They should, okay, they so should send that the receipt. Is that something you should always do? I do. Yeah. I yes. do not like yeah. to show up empty handed. And what do you show up with? A bottle wine. of wine. Typically yeah. wine, sometimes flowers, depending. Mm -hmm. too. If it's or like ask a, if beforehand, like what they need. What they need. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, that's nice, yeah. So yeah. if someone were to be coming to your dinner party that you're hosting, and they show up empty-handed, do you look at them differently? No. 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 I don't. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like don't. I take note. But then the next time you go to their house, you don't take anything. No, I yeah. still do. You still do. <laughs> I still do. Okay. I don't care. No. Nah. Yeah, me either. Sometimes it's cultural. Like for Latinos, for us, it's very much the um, we bring stuff to the house and we celebrate. It's I think it's uh, part of the culture. Maybe they're uh, the way they were educated or they were brought up in whatever country or culture. It's not a normal thing to do, so mm -hmm. you can't, I wouldn't judge, but I would personally take something. Yeah. I think wine is like the universal, mm -hmm. easy, like even if you're last minute, like, I forgot to get something, stop oh. by the liquor store <laughs> <laughs> or even a grocery store and pick up a bottle of wine. Yeah. It's, it's or so even easy. like what you have in your pantry, like I'll just bring an un unopened bottle and <laughs> that'll be yeah. the gift. Okay. <laughs> dinner party. We're hosting it. What exactly needs to be? at a dinner party for it to be successful. I feel like there's a lot of stress when you host friends over and you're gonna As hopefully. the host what needs to be yeah. there? I think when you get to a certain age, like cut the shit and hire the bartender. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know what I mean? Like, take that chef. pressure off yourself. Mm. Um, I, I think it's classy. Like, guests don't have to go, you know, pour themselves. I think it's like a special touch that you can do. Well, She's I like, hired a chef once because I just don't know how to cook. And, and then, of course, my fiance offered that we were going to do the Shabbat dinner at my house the, on Fridays. And I, I'm like, really, thank you. So all these, you know, his friends who are also Jewish are coming. And I have no idea. I don't even know how to cook a normal, you know, dinner. <laughs> Forget a Shabbat dinner. So then I hired a, a chef. And That's... they were super impressed, and I so was I. I was like, wow. <laughs> we're like, ah, I did a great job. I know, this is great. Okay. And you did. You organized yeah. that. But never again. Oh. Just one time. It's a one-time thing. Okay, so yeah. outsourcing drinks or food yeah. would be a good recipe for a dinner party. Yeah. I'm like the host assistant. My girlfriend is the one that hosts, and I just do whatever she tells me. So I have no idea. <laughs> You're like, I am never going to host, but yeah. I will assist. Yes. Okay, when it comes to clean up. Mm. Do you stay around and help a friend? Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you were invited to their yes. house, yeah. Okay. So Always. you make sure you're the last one to stay. No, not the last one, but I will <laughs> start cleaning up and then like, okay, guys, I'm and not doing saw everything. Y'all clean up. <laughs> y'all yeah. saw me put some things away, the yeah. dishes in the dishwasher, but I'm out because I'm not doing all the cleaning. Right. Okay. Smart, smart, smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the biggest issue with dinner parties is the cleanup afterwards. Yeah. But that's something you should also outsource. <laughs> All right, well, you stay right there because Girl Chat continues after the break. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We're having a girls' night with these wonderful-looking women. <laughs> we got Sydney, Woo. Cindy, and Paige. All right, let me ask you all this. How are you on your self-love journey right now? Great. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> amazing. Yes. That, that was a deep question. It, threw me, it definitely threw yeah, me yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta <laughs> ask. I gotta ask because of this next story I'm about to bring up. So everybody's in a great place. Yes. Y'all yes. love yourselves. You guys are fabulous. Yes. You know you are. Yes. The mm. that Manifest. You are. Okay. <laughs> this woman mm -hmm. decided that she was going to pay $3,000 and marry herself. Well, okay. What? What's the benefit though? Elaborate, please. Okay. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> so. How does that happen? Bad luck in the uh, romantic world decided, you know, I'm going to go to therapy, do the self-love work, and she stopped drinking, stopped smoking. She stopped all the things. And she was like, you know what? I'm bad all by myself. I'm going to marry myself because I'm amazing. Now, people are saying to her that uh, she did that because she can't get a mate. Oh. So, would you ever go as far as marrying yourself? I don't think so. No. Girl, with my luck, I'm going on my third marriage. I'd probably divorce myself. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> no, I don't trust me with marriage. Uh, no. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. I'm not one to marry myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just like I feel her, you know, go to therapy. She's stopping the smoking and the non healthy habits. And I just, I don't think I would go as far as to marry myself. Just live together. Just, <laughs> I just and am all with my myself all the time anyway. Yeah. I don't know. But, I mean, maybe it was like a spirit. I don't know. Good for her. Not for me. Yeah, I don't get the official marrying yourself thing. You can just, I mean, it's okay if you don't want a partner anymore. You don't have to yeah. <laughs> go out of your way to make it all official to marry yourself. Make it so official. Yeah. It is odd. I, I don't know that. And it's like, what if you meet someone? And you're married. And then <laughs> you're like, sorry, I have to go divorce myself Mus real quick. <laughs> like, who are you married? Who's your ex? Like, who's your uh, myself? Me. <laughs> and then it's like, are so you, do you not well? love yourself anymore? Because right. now you're divorcing yourself? Yeah. yeah. It turns into, like, a just bigger deep, problem. Just yeah. deep, spiral. We're going to spiral. I yeah. think she needs help for other things, not just the self-love situation. And she went to therapy. Yeah, I, now it I'm questioning the therapist. Like, <laughs> yeah. the therapist say, yeah. Go with your bad self. Yes, you take yourself yeah, to the yeah. altar. That's odd. No. Okay, yeah. As a saint, speaking this all out loud, I'm like, absolutely not. No, no. Absolutely not. All right, so the ideal partner, the ideal person you would marry, what factors do you have for them? My ah, fiance. Your fiance. Well, let me look okay, camera because he's looking. <laughs> See? Wait, three. Oh, right here, here, baby. I love you. This? Okay, what, what, what factors does your fiance have? Oh my gosh. Apart from the physical, okay. physical is amazing. And then, uh, no, he's, he's loyal, he's kind, 
He loves my daughter like it's, you know, his own. Um, he is very hardworking, mm -hmm. and he supports me. He's my biggest fan, so I love that. Oh, that's oh. amazing. He's kind. All right, what are you heart. looking for, Paige? I'm looking for someone open-minded, mm -hmm. good communicator, loyal. Mm. Where am I looking? Over there. You're, <laughs> you're looking for him. You're looking for him. Please uh, talk to him. <laughs> um, funny. I need a sense of humor. Oh, I yes. want to laugh. Like, life is hard. I want to be able to grow old with somebody and, and be able to laugh. I want someone hardworking. If you yeah. lose your job, like, go work at a fast food restaurant. Like, it doesn't that's matter. what you got to do. Let's yeah. do it. Um, yeah. It's not, it's not a lot. Yeah, I'm not asking for simple. a lot. It's simple. Well, you have to have yeah. sexual chemistry too. Like that oh, part is important. Oh, we're talking about physical things. We we know about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that's requirement a requirement again. Well, it's dwind. You know, it's just fuzzy these yeah, it's days. Fuzzy but these days. I'm probably six two right now. So in these heels. Yeah. So mm. tall. Someone handsome. Who can handle that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Sydney. I know you're in a relationship, but what do you yes. what do you love about her? I love that she listens to me. I don't mm. have to repeat myself a million times. No. So the problem is solved then and there. Um, we motivate each other. That's really important to me because I can't be with a bum. So, um, and um, she's just beautiful. Obviously, you have to have that physical attraction as well. Mm. Okay, physical attraction is is key. All right, listen. I know you, you gonna get married at some point to this magnificent <laughs> man that we keep hearing about. Mm -mm -mm. And you on your search, babe. <laughs> you on your search. Listen, don't marry yourself. <laughs> All right? I'm not there yet. I haven't lost it yet. <laughs> now, you ain't lost. You ain't lost, <laughs> girl. You a badass bitch. Uh, yes. Okay? All right, girls. Um, I need to go find out about a, a cobbler, OK? I'm so just going to eat my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat your feelings. <laughs> Don't eat your feelings. All right, Sydney, I hope you had a blast with us here on Girls' yes. Night. Cheers. We're going Cheers. headline the Cheers, ladies. Because uh, I got to find out uh, the different toppings you can have on this delicious peach cobbler. You stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the nightcap. I'm behind the bar now because I've got China Watts, the cobbler queen in the building. Yes. And you brought the midnight munchies. Mm -hmm. ew, ew, ew. Listen, um, the girls and I were downing. I saw. That cobbler. I saw. And I did not know that I didn't even get a complete one. Okay. So I'm here to get every <laughs> single flavor. Well, you are going to enjoy this. This one is my honey bun peach cobbler, okay? All right, so go. what was the genesis for this right here? So I wanted something fun, creative, something that the kids would like too, because mm. all kids like honey buns and cinnamon rolls, so I actually do both. But this one is a fan favorite. You'll love it. Okay. I told you, girl. Mm -hmm. What do we got up next? So this one is the Crown Royal mixed in with my famous signature sauce. So we're just gonna just a little drizzle. We don't want you to. We don't want you too lit. Enjoy on that one. So, China, what led you to become the cob cobbler queen? So actually, I started out about three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, family friends wanted some peach cobbler one night, so I came over and I just brought a pan, not thinking too much into it. From there, they went crazy over it. So that's kind of the start of my business. Oh, so you were good at something and you capitalized on it. Right, okay. right, right. And so I got my recipe from my grandmother, Virice Winslow. She was one of the key starters to my business. And then I just added my own flair to it. Oh, good. <laughs> so that's so much fun for a friend's girls' night, just like tonight, right? Yeah, right? it's perfect. So All right, what we this got one is for my Southern gals, okay? This is called the Pecan Praline. So we're gonna actually add the sauce to it. And everyone in New Orleans or New Orleans, depending on where you're from, okay. they're gonna they're gonna agree on this one was a hit. Alright, so I'm gonna get some more junk in my trunk <laughs> with this, right? Be hauling. <laughs> I'm just saying. No! <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> oh sh. 
That's good. <laughs> okay, last one before I, I go. Oh, 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 they ready. Okay. Uh oh. Mm -mm. All right, girls. <laughs> this one is like my number oh my one some. seller, okay? Oh this one is called the cookie butter. So let's drizzle oh this goodness oh. on top. Wow. Not That's what I was much. missing. I mean, just a little, all right? Oh Okay, <laughs> okay I'm gonna, we're gonna have to try this. Oh, oh my God. 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 All right, baby, where do they get your cobbler from? So mm. follow me on Facebook, Instagram, The Peach Cobbler Queen. Make oh, sure wow. it says queen. queen. Okay, this is my logo over here. There we go. <laughs> um, and call me, Facebook me, and we can get your party started. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, yeah. for your next girls' night. All right, cheers, ladies. Ooh, yeah. cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 cheers to you. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. We've got every episode of the Nightcap and we can go for hours. Download the Fox Local app on any of the following smart TV platforms and get in on the fun.